What is going on everybody? It's Zach Michael here. Today we are going to be cooking up a dark piano melody. I'm going to walk you guys through how to create these type of samples. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and check out elizardrecords.net. Now we're going to actually start with a free piano VST because one of the biggest things I hear people say is, how am I supposed to make good melodies if I can't afford the crazy expensive plugins that all these loop makers use? And the truth is, you don't necessarily need those. Now, sometimes I'll use those and I am you know, own a lot of different VSTs and I do use them in my tutorials and in my beats and stuff, but I'm also going to try to showcase some free ones. So in labs, there's this soft piano. There's really a bunch of different presets in here, but the soft piano is probably the most like known free piano. That sounds pretty good. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of pick what key we want it to be in. I try to stick for stuff in minor keys, but you can kind of do whatever you want. Realistically, we're going to go with E minor to start. And the first thing I like to do when I make dark piano stuff is try to figure out what I want my top line to be. I go for like pretty repetitive stuff usually for my top lines on uh, like darker piano stuff. Just like that, pretty simple, pretty simple. And I just like to make the resolve be a little different. The resolve is like with this four and eight bar R. So the resolve's difference is just like there's a rhythm change because like there's a pause here essentially. Nothing too crazy, but all you really need. Next thing I like to do is add some bass notes. And these are like piano stabs. They kinda are what create the darker feel is by having those in the lower octaves. What you can do is strum them if you want. So I just click Alt if you're on Windows and then you can drag the notes freely. And now they're strummed a bit. Give it a little bit more of a human feel. Just like that. Pretty simple. Next we're gonna go ahead and layer another element. Something I like to do, especially when you're using uh, certain VSTs, you know, free ones, etc. is you might want to layer your piano to give it more depth. Um, I actually have a preset here called Pad Ocean. It sounds like this. And I actually layer a lot of pianos with this sound. So here's it without it. And here's it with it. It's just a little bit bigger now. There's a little bit more frequencies that weren't there before, etc. What you also could do what I'm going to do is pitch that pad sound up actually. By doing that, now we get a little bit more of the higher frequencies that we wouldn't get with that piano without it kind of being in the way. Because when I'm creating this loop, I'm obviously keeping in mind an artist, you know, so I need to leave room in those higher registers for the vocalist or for the rapper's vocals. So I'm trying to add some high frequencies without making something that kind of takes up too much space. You know, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just kind of load through different presets here. And here we go, we got one that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna cut away the E minor because I no longer need that. I kind of have the majority of my notes right here. So I kind of already know. And we're just gonna kind of create a little pattern like this. To turn on the velocities and we're going to make this into a texture so we're going to go ahead and turn the wet knob up the dry down like as you can tell making this really ambient and now we're just going to kind of throw a little eq on it to filter it and we might even tweak this section here make the rhythm more simple just like that and next we're just going to try to add like one more kind of key element and then honestly that's kind of like all you really need before you throw drums on it so honestly like simplicity is a really big thing when it comes to dark stuff tension is a really big thing and i'll kind of break that down as soon as omnisphere here loads up 
But there's a lot of different ways you can kind of create tension, but I'll just kind of show you like one of the easiest ways that I utilize a lot in my dark stuff. It's really the most simple way to get tension. So if we load back up the E minor scale for a second here, right? You're going to see how this is the E minor scale right here. And you're going to see how the C and the B are right next to each other and the G and the F sharp are right next to each other. When you play the two notes that are next to each other, it creates what's called tension. So this G into this F is what creates the tension in some capacity. I mean, obviously music theory can get a lot more complex than that, but when you're trying to create darker stuff, just kind of keep that in mind. So now we're gonna go into bells and vibes and just try to find like another sound. We're gonna pitch, put that really, really low. It's almost like a bass. We're just gonna kind of EQ out some of those high ends. Just like that. We might speed this up like two BPM, nothing too crazy. And then we're just gonna go ahead and kind of get started on the arrangement here. But this melody is pretty, pretty solid already with the right kind of like, drums on this. You could already have that dark piano feel that you're going for. So you don't need to have too many elements, you know, it's very easy to overcomplicate things. And when you're trying to create darker stuff, half the battle is just keeping it simple, but also repetitive enough that it's dark, but not annoying to listen to for the whole song. And that's why I kind of have like all these different elements just to kind of create some variation. But if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out loserrecords.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Net. If you'd like to support me, you can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.